Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to talk to you guys a little bit about our radio delay blowback system uh, and accessories, compatibility, things of that sort. I'm not going to dive into the weeds too much, but most of you know that we have a radio delay blowback operating system. And if you actually look in the bolt carrier group there, you can see that it is more like a traditional AR-15 bolt. It is not like standard blowback that most everybody else uses. And we used to use too in our old Mark 9s. Um, but we went with the radio delay blowback operating system to be able to use more standard AR-15 uppers uh, and actually just to reduce reciprocating mass. We've developed it a little bit more along the years uh, into slightly different systems, including use in our descent uh, and now in our new fixed ejector banshees and resolutes. Um, but the one thing to keep in mind, because of the nature of the design, it is not compatible with a lot of stuff that regular straight blowback systems you know, use. Uh, for example, in the original radial delay blowback, we had an ejector built in to the bolt itself. So there was an ejector in the bolt, kind of like you would see in an AR-15. That means you don't need a separate ejector in the lower or like in the descent we now have in the upper receiver. Um, with that, it allowed for a little bit more room for magazines, last round hold open, things of that sort. And it allowed for us to use, you know, conversion magazines. So this is one of our early conversion magazines. This is an insert that will go into a PMAG and takes your AR-15 magazine and converts it to nine millimeter. We have since adopted our own complete magazine. There is no longer an insert in a PMAG and this is a 33 rounder. Uh, so with this, you can take and you can insert a nine millimeter magazine into a standard AR-15 lower and it's gonna cycle with our radial delay blowback upper. Now, I am trying to emphasize there that these magazines the ones labeled CMMG are for our radial delay blowback system only because we don't have the ejector needed like you see on straight blowback, either on the top of the magazine or on the lower. You're probably going to get these to feed in a gun that is not radial delay blowback, but you're not going to get them to eject. So basically the way to think of it is if you look at one of our parts and you're trying to do a build, if you're looking at parts that say radial delay blowback and you want them to work with a non radial delay blowback system, I'm just going to say right now, we probably haven't tested the configuration you're looking at. And there's a very high likelihood that it is not compatible. Or if you want to make it compatible, you're going to have to do a good amount of modifications to the non radial delay blowback components. Uh, so, this is just more of kind of like an FYI or just an informative video saying these two systems are not the same. If you see CMMG radio delay blowback, ideally keep it with CMMG radio delay blowback. Don't try to mix and match. Uh, and if you do so, you do it at your own risk of the system working or not. So uh, nine mil magazines, if they say CMMG, they're only for our radio delay blowback. There are other companies out there that have very similar products that work for the other products, but if they say CMMG on them, like you see here and you see here, um, only radio delay blowback. If you see a radio delay blowback upper, probably not gonna work on a standard AR9 lower or vice versa. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service. There's a link at the contact us page on our website. Um, or you can reach us at customer service at CMMG dot, you know what, can't say that on socials because certain people get mad, but hopefully that's a little bit of information for you. Keep radial delay blowback with radial delay blowback. Easy for me to say really fast and, uh, you should be good to go. So guys, thanks for tuning in and as always stay safe out there.